Beneath the crashing waves, a secret has been buried for over 200 million years. What if I told you that millions of years before dolphins first leapt across the oceans, another creature had already perfected their exact design? Same sleek torpedo body, same fins, same hunting style, but here's the catch it wasn't a mammal at all. It was a reptile, meet the ichthyosaur, the prehistoric twin of dolphins that shouldn't exist, yet somehow does, two species, worlds apart in time and ancestry, yet mirror images in form and function. How is this possible? Today, we are diving into nature's strangest illusion, the prehistoric twins it tried to hide. When you look at a dolphin today, you're seeing one of evolution's masterpieces. Streamlined, intelligent, a hunter built for the seas. But if you rewind the clock back over 200 million years, before mammals even dreamed of conquering the oceans, ichthyosaurs ruled the waters, and the shocking thing. They looked almost exactly like dolphins. This is the mind-bending phenomenon of convergent evolution, the idea that when two very different creatures face the same challenges, they can evolve into almost identical solutions. It's not mimicry, it's not ancestry, it's pure survival engineering, and ichthyosaurs versus dolphins may be the most uncanny example ever recorded. But here's the twist. Ichthyosaurs weren't just vaguely dolphin-shaped. They shared over 20 features in common with modern dolphins. Finger bones elongated into flippers, sleek, smooth skin, streamlined skulls with long snouts filled with sharp teeth, dark backs and lighter bellies for camouflage. Even live births something reptiles almost never do. It's as if the oceans themselves demanded this shape, and two completely unrelated groups of animals, mammals and reptiles answered in unison. But how close were they really? Could you, swimming side by side with them, even tell the difference? Or would you mistake a prehistoric reptile for a friendly dolphin until it sank its jaws into your leg? Picture an ichthyosaur gliding through the Jurassic seas. At first glance, you'd swear it was a dolphin, but beneath the skin lay a reptilian body. Instead of warm blood coursing through a mammalian frame, ichthyosaurs carried the cold-blooded ancestry of reptiles. Yet scientists now believe they may have evolved blubber, yes, like whales and dolphins to survive colder waters. Their eyes, enormous, some the size of dinner plates, built for hunting in the deep twilight zone where sunlight fades. Their ears, dense and specialized for underwater hearing, just like dolphins. Their diet was practically identical to fish, squid, crustaceans. Their hunting strategies, ambush from the depths, lightning fast bursts of speed, group hunting behaviors. The similarities stack up until you almost forget they were separated by over 150 million years of evolution. And here's the kicker. Some ichthyosaurs, like the ophthalmosaurus, were so close in size and build to dolphins that underwater, the casual. Observer might never know the difference. Imagine snorkeling in a time machine and spotting what you think is a pod of dolphins only to realize you race surrounded by reptilian predators with razor teeth. So if dolphins aren't the first to perfect this blueprint, what other animals were not as original as we thought? How many of today's icons are really just copies of creatures long extinct? Take crocodiles. Apex ambush predators, armored to the teeth, living fossils that have barely changed for millions of years. But here's the shocker. Crocodiles weren't the first to wear this design. Enter Phytosaurus ancient reptiles that lived over 200 million years ago, long before true crocodiles evolved, and if you saw one today, you'd swear. You were looking at a croc, same long snout, same cone-shaped teeth, same armored hide, same ambush lifestyle, lurking just beneath the water's surface, but they weren't crocodiles at all. They were distant cousins, more closely related to dinosaurs than to crocs. In fact, Phytosaurs and crocodiles hadn't shared a common ancestor for almost 100 million years. Yet, they evolved into nearly identical monsters. Why? Because the design works. In swamps and rivers, ambush predators thrive when they can disappear beneath the water, then strike with explosive force. Nature doesn't reinvent the wheel, it reuses it. If rivers birth reptile twins and oceans birth dolphin twins, what about the land? Were dinosaurs and mammals secretly running a shadow game of copies too? Now picture an ankylosaur, the tank of the dinosaur age, 
low to the ground, body covered in armored plates, swinging a deadly tail club like a medieval weapon. Fast forward millions of years, and you see armadillos, yes, armadillos, tiny insect-eating mammals of the Americas. But here's the kicker. Their extinct cousins, a glyptodont, grew to the size of small cars, with shells so thick even a saber-toothed cat would struggle to bite through. Some even carried tail clubs eerily similar to ankylosaurs. Different worlds, different ages, same solution. Armor up or get eaten. And it didn't stop there. Pangolins. Two evolved full-body armor, echoing dinosaurs they never met. Over and over, the blueprint of armored tank resurfaces in time. And if armor repeats, and ambush predators repeat, and dolphin forms repeat, what does that say about us? Are humans really as unique as we think, or are we just following another blueprint waiting to be uncovered? The more we study convergent evolution, the more unsettling it becomes, because it means that life on Earth may not be random chaos, it may be a script. Environments demand certain solutions, and evolution answers with the same designs, over and over again. Dolphins, ichthyosaurs, crocodiles, phytosaurs, ankylosaurs, armadillos, rhinos, even marsupials like the thylacine wolves in disguise. So when you stare at a dolphin, you ray not just seeing a mammal of today, you ray staring. Into the face of a reptile from 200 million years ago, a twin hidden by time, brought back by survival itself. And here's the ultimate question. If life rewrites the same patterns again and again on Earth, what does that mean for other worlds? If aliens exist in oceans light years away, would we find their dolphins too? Their crocodiles? Their armored tanks? Maybe nature only has so many tricks? Maybe the prehistoric twins aren't just a quirk of Earth? Maybe they're a preview of life across the universe? This is the story of the prehistoric twins nature tried to hide, but perhaps it's also a story of our future, because if extinction is just a reset button, the twins will always return.